The lack of the textbook makes it so that the students have to you know, become better consumers of information. They become better consumers of content. They become better consumers of resources. They're able to see, okay, this is an article that's on a content-based website that you know, makes most of their money from advertising. What is that bias about? Uh, this is a piece of content that is part of a content marketing campaign for a digital marketer. And, and so, you know, the, while the information could be incredibly valid and, is, you know, and often is incredibly valid, you know, the, the, the goal of that piece of content is to get someone to buy their software. So, the, you know, again, learning about sort of, the, the, sort of the, the resources that are out there and how to be consumers of that, I think that's a big part of what I'm doing. The, the written assignments for the class, I don't ask them to write five-page papers every couple weeks. I don't ask them to write a 20-page paper at the end of the quarter. I ask them to blog twice a week and to blog on their public LinkedIn page. And that is an incredibly intimidating thing for most of the students, even the best writers. And one of the things that's really interesting that the students learn is that the way they've been taught to write over the course of the you know, prior you know, 15 years of their education is not necessarily the way that digital marketers are supposed to write, is not necessarily the way that professional business people are supposed to write. And, and so those first couple of blog posts are, are pretty hard for them. But then over the course of the quarter, and you know, they get some feedback from me, they get some feedback from their classmates, most importantly, they get feedback from actual professional digital marketers who, you know, because of the hashtag that they use, because of the keywords that they've included, find the blog that they wrote and they put a comment and they send a note and they're like, hey, I really liked what you wrote about this. Did, did you think about uh, this angle? Or again, you know, hey, this is really, really good content for right now, but, you know, we see the industry shifting in this way over the, over, over the next six to 12 months. You should really think about that. The best po possible scenario is I've had many, many students that have come up to me and they say, Mark, someone just read my blog and then asked me to interview for a job. And so you know, this blog that they write for the class puts them out there into this sort of digital marketing industry professional community. And then they're able to just create their own network and be part of that marketplace of ideas. And that's one of the great things about digital marketing is the fact that, you know, you don't need to be old to be an expert. You know, you just need to be current. And, 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 that, and that's one of the things that I've been really trying to encourage my students is, is be current, be today, and put yourself out there. And the fact that you know what you know makes you just as uh, valid a person to be part of that conversation as, any, as people who've been doing it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Well, that's, it's interesting because I do think that part of the, 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 the intimidation for the students is not knowing how to write in that particular way. But it's also about do they know enough to be part of that conversation? And one of the things that I really encourage them to experiment and try and be comfortable with is, is putting themselves out there into the conversation. And there's, you know, we all like to talk about, you know, how, how, how negative social media conversation can be, and, and it often is. I generally find that the conversations that happen in, uh, among the blogs of my of, of my students is pretty positive, and the, and 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 people are very impressed with the work that the students are doing, and so that little bit of encouragement allows them to try that much harder, and distinguish themselves in a better way. Really, just sort of being part of that marketplace of ideas from the beginning is something that the students really value.